shake this drink up more. Are we gonna start? Are we starting? Yeah, we gotta wait a little bit. Good morning. I have Nadia with me and Nathan. Um, this morning I'm gonna try to be a little bit more fast. Um, just because I'm I'm not at my best and um, Nathan's not at his best this morning either. Um, but the devil wanted to rob this message today because it's an important message. Um, the day before yesterday, today's Thursday, so Wednesday, Tuesday, um, God, you know, woke me up out of my sleep and I just felt like he was telling me for this Thursday, it needed to be about prayer and fasting. And I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Well, yesterday, um, I ended up going to the ER. I, has, I had a lot of bad back pain. And um, <laughs> I couldn't walk. I couldn't, you know, stand up straight. I was having a really, really hard time in the morning. So uh, my friend at work, they had to wheel me over to the hospital. And they did a CAT scan and uh <laughs> A kidney ultrasound and um, so it suggests that I was passing a kidney stone and when I tell you that pain I've never felt nothing like that in my life I mean I was crying by the time I got to the hospital they hooked me up with IV and they um, they gave me morphine and that helped me calm down you know from the pain but you know it was like I'm thinking about it this morning. I'm like, wow, there's, it's going to be, cause I was, I was like, I'm not going to get on this live this morning. I'm not even going to work today. I said, I'm not going to get on the live. I'm not, I'm just going to rest. But again, the Holy Spirit was telling me, no, there's so many things to pray on. You're at home. You're relaxed. There's so many things to pray on this morning. <coughs> I need you to get on this live. And I'm like, all right, let me be obedient and let me listen. So, um, uh, this morning, I have a few scriptures for us. Oh, let's do the, the raffle. Here, Nadia is going to help me out. Okay, open it up. Open it. Okay, <laughs> okay. give me the first name. Okay, the first one is... Amy Reba Bailey, my my sister Amy from church. That's the first one. Pull the second one out. <laughs> Mary Viegas. This cousin of mine has won probably like four or five times already. <laughs> Glory to God. So Amy and Mary are the winners. That's it, Mama. Just oh. two. So I'll reach out to those ladies and get them their gift cards. Um, you know, when it feels like you're just going through so much, you know, your your faith is being tested, you're, you're almost to the point where you want to give up, that's when you really got to do this. You really got to get in prayer. You really got to get in fasting. Yesterday was my first day that I was going to start a fast. And bam, the enemy tried to take me down real quick. Um, you know, being that I work with doctors, you know, I asked my doctor, what could this be? You know, that pain right, right on my back. And, um, you know, so he did a urine test. And sure enough, I had some bacteria in the urine. So we're like, okay, it's a UTI. So he was going to prescribe me some medication. And he's like, um, you know, take this medication. I'm like, wow. I said, I'm fasting. Is that going to affect anything? And he's like, no, go ahead. You know, your stomach should be fine. And I said, okay. So we, we, he sent the medication in for me for the antibiotic and then for pain. They didn't have the pain medication over the counter or prescribed. 
So that's when I was really like, all right, you know what? This pain is not getting any better. And it wasn't a UTI. It was, you know, me passing a kidney stone. So I needed something strong. But it was like the devil wants to take you out when you're trying to get deeper in your faith, when you're trying to overcome something, when you're trying to hear from God. And that's for anybody, you know, a man, woman, child, anybody who's trying to get closer to God, that enemy is going to see you as a target, you know, especially if you're searching for God. So the first scripture is Psalms 35, 13. It says, I humbled myself with fasting when my prayers returned to me unanswered. So in this, it's like <clears throat> you pray to God and God's, you feel like God's maybe not answering you or you feel like, well, where are you, God, with my, my prayer? You know, I, I don't hear you. And he says on here, I humbled myself with fasting when my prayers returned to me unanswered. If you feel like God's not answering you, get into fasting. If you don't know what fasting is, open up your Bible and read. Google, you know, fasting with the Bible, fasting, you know, the way you're supposed to. <clears throat> you will find it there. The second one is 1 Thessalonians 5.17. This one is beautiful. Pray continually. <clears throat> you know, we want to give up real quick when we don't hear our prayer being answered or it's already been a week and still no answer. Pray <clears throat> continually. The Bible says that. Another one is 2 Chronicles seven fourteen. <clears throat> if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways... Then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. This is something that we all need to be praying right now. Lord, heal our land, Father God. Heal us. Heal the people. Heal the earth. Heal the government. Heal the country. You know, heal this world. But he says, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray. We have to humble ourselves. And, and like the first scripture, if you don't hear him, what do you do? You humble yourself and fast until you hear him. Another one is Matthew eighteen twenty. It says, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am with them. And that's why I have Nadia and Nathan here with me this morning. Um, because, because we're praying and we're believing and we're going to pray right now for certain things. And... And we need to have that. We need to be aligned with the scripture like it says here. Or two or three are gathered in my name. There I am with them. And then the last one is Psalms 37, 28. It says, for the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. You know, sometimes we feel like, God, where are you? He said he will not forsake you. He will not forsake his, his, his faithful ones. Are you faithful to him? It says he will not forsake you. You might go through the trials. Because the Bible also says that there will be trials of many kinds. But take heart, because I have overcome the world. Jesus has already overcome the world, and he's, he's there with you. He's going before you. He's going behind you. He's going on the side of you. And there's nothing that will forsake you. That's what his word says. So today we're going to be praying on special things. Number one, we're going to be praying on the kids going to school. And... You know, I asked my kids, I'm like, do y'all want to pray with me this morning? And they said, yeah. You know, Nathan's been having a rough time. I think today's like day 10 or 11 where he has this 11. cough. Day 11. Where he has this <laughs> cough and it was just dry. He's already been COVID tested twice. He's already been strep throat tested and everything's coming back negative. So this is a virus, <clears throat> you know. It has to take its course and... Being that he's going to be starting school next week, you know, there's no opting in and opting out this time. HISD is going to school. And, you know, my first concern was, wow, you know, he's going to be subjected to different viruses. RSV is on the rise right now. There's the flu. You know, there's these colds. You know, there's the hand, foot, mouth disease. There's so many things that are around these kids every day, you know, especially when going to school. And it just, it started to, to bring like, not fear, but worry into my mind. And I'm like, okay, this is one thing that we're going to pray on. So they're going to help me pray. Um, 
and I'm going to be praying too. If you can join in with me, I, you know, the, there was a, a, a scripture in the Bible that really came to my mind a few days ago when God placed this message in my heart and it was about Joshua. I don't know the whole story, but it, it was, uh, they were they were going somewhere, and in order for them to defeat these people, they went around this this place. I, I don't know if it was a a kingdom or a building, something, where they went around it seven times, and singing and 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 using the drums and the trumpet and and just glorifying God, and they went around this place seven times, and it it all fell down. It collapsed. And God said, do that. Do that before your kids go to school. So I'm not going to walk around the school seven times because it's a big school. But I'm going to drive around that school seven times. And I'm going to put my worship music on. And I'm going to sing as I'm going around that school. Because I'm singing and I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to do all that I can for my babies as they go to school. You know, I, we can't physically go in the school and touch and pray we can go around that school and we can teach our kids to pray continually, seek God. And so, Father God, we just thank you for this morning, Lord. We thank you for your goodness and your grace, Father God. Thank you for another day, Lord. I just pray for all the kids going back to school, those kids that are already in school, Father God, and those kids that are going to be going back to school, like mine's Father. I just pray that you allow us to uh, send them in peace, Father God. Send them in love, Father God. Send them with excitement and joy, Father God, knowing that they're going to be taught the things that they need in life, Father God. I just pray for your protection, Lord, that from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, Father God, that you would protect them away from any virus, Father God, any cold, any sickness, any lie uh, from the enemy that tries to come and attack Father God, we pray against that, Lord. We ask for favor, Father God, that you would give them favor, Lord, in your son's name, Father God, that they walk in and they're blessed. They are a blessed child, Father God, that the teacher will be able to teach them, that the students would be able to like them, Father God. We give you glory, Lord, because we know that this is something you can do, Father God. You said, ask in my name, and if it's my will, I will give it to you, Father God. And we know this is something that you desire, Lord, because your kids are your... Your kids are, are, are good, Father God. Your kids are your righteous, Father God. And, and we know that you can do this, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Another thing we needed to pray on is our leaders, our leaders in this country, our leaders in the government. There's so much corruption and so much, you know, just a lot of bad things. And, and we need to pray for our leaders, whoever's in the government, the police, and FBI, I mean, the news, everything that that has a good platform, anyone that has a platform that people can take from them, we ask that Father God would intervene and be there with them and guide them and speak to them, that, that they would turn from their wicked ways and seek his face in the name of Jesus. We, play, we pray against any virus, any covid any rsv any flu any sickness for all the people right now that are suffering in the hospitals for people who are sick at home we pray against that in the mighty name of jesus we pray that god's healing hands would be on them and that medications would work that he would send the right people there to be with them and help them and guide them we pray for the staff and the nurses, the doctors, that they would get wisdom to, to be able to treat these patients at the hospitals or wherever they're at. We pray that God would be there intervening for these people and that God would be the one that uh, holds his hand on them and they would receive that healing power. Uh, we pray against fear and anxiety and depression. Oh, those things are just running rapid right now and... You know, being being someone that has gone through all that fear and depression, anxiety, I know how it can rob your peace and your joy. It can rob your thinking. It can make you feel uneasy. Um, and the, the devil wants you to be like that. He wants you to feel you're alone and you're hurting. You're by yourself and that there's nothing you can do. But glory to God that he can heal that. He can make you better. He can take away the fear. He can put in his peace. He can take away that depression and give you his joy. He can do all that. All you have to do is submit to him and allow him to heal you from the inside out. <clears throat> oh, Father God, we just pray against any fear, anxiety, depression, Father God. 
I pray that you would give us all your peace, Father God. Give us all your love and your joy, Lord. Give us all sound mind, Father God, and, and allow us to see those those targets and those attacks from the enemy, Father God. He wants to rob us, Lord. His, his job is to kill, steal, and destroy, Father God. But yours is to give us life and life in abundance, Father God. And I just pray that you would give us life in abundance, Father God. Allow us to not be shaken by the things that are going around, Father God. But allow us to stand firm on your word, Father God. Knowing and seeking you first, Father God. And then last, I want to pray for death. You know, there's so many people who have died and so many people who are grieving. You know, I just heard the other day um, a friend of a friend you know, she had COVID and, you know, she died in her sleep and her child was the one that found her. You know, I can only imagine, you know, that pain that child must be going through and the pain that her husband must be going through to not have, you know, his wife there. You know, see, we all wake up, we all go to sleep thinking that there is going to be a tomorrow and, and we take life for granted sometimes. And, we don't appreciate those people that are in our lives. We don't appreciate our spouses. We don't appreciate our kids. We don't appreciate our parents. But tomorrow is not promised. So we have to do it today. And I just pray for, for those that are grieving right now. Father God, that you would touch them, Lord. That you would gather them, Father God. That they would be in your arms and in peace, Father God. Get them through the stages of grieving, Father God. Get them through the hurt and the pain, the why, Father God, fill them with your peace and your love, Father God. I just pray that they would encounter someone who would speak life into them, Father God, that, that they would not feel alone, that they would not feel sad, Father God, but that they would trust in you, Lord. In your son's name we pray and we give you glory, Lord. I'm going to give the, um, the phone to Nadia now, and I'm going to ask her to pray for anything that she wants, and um, she'd be led by the Holy Spirit. Do you know what you're going to pray on? Yeah. Okay. Close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. And I hope that Nene feels better. And, yes, Jesus. And, 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 and you can take away the sickness. And bless my brother and make him feel better. Yes, and not Jesus. be sick anymore. Yes, Lord. And let him be better, and we can be proud of him so he won't get any sick and go to the doctor again. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, God. You ready? You know what you're going to pray, Nathan? Okay, now it's Nathan's turn. Mm -hmm. That. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. And I hope that the sick people that are going through some tough times yes. feel better and and that whenever, and there's no mean people yes. out there and that the world just becomes a better place. Yes, Jesus. And, and, and that we have all a great day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right, you guys. God bless you. I'll reach out to those two. And, and we should all stand in agreement if you can. Go around your school, your child's school, seven times. Put on some worship music. And allow, allow the Holy Spirit and God to guide you. See what he wants you to do. If he wants you to get off and touch that gate and pray over that gate where your kids are going to be going, you do it. If he wants you to contact the school and ask if you could pray for the administration, do it. Listen to the Holy Spirit for guidance and, and be obedient. Don't feel like you're foolish because this is something that a lot of us lack on. We all lack in praying and believing and having that faith that through prayer, there's so many things that can be undone. Through prayer, we're calling God down to, to help us and, and that should be something that we, we try to do more. And so with that, I'll go ahead and end this. God bless you guys. In Jesus' name we pray.